Right, welcome to another episode of Warhammer 40,000. It's 2,000 points. The Death Guard Chaos Space Marines have returned. And this time they'll take on a different Space Marines chapter. It will be the Space Wolves. I'll be using my revamped and new Space Wolves list. And they will take on uh, Mortarian and his Legion of Death Guard Chaos Space Marines in this fight. Uh, battling across this industrial terrain here. Uh, the Imperial Fists have been fighting this sector. They've been wiped out. The Space Wolves now sweeping through. Uh, will take on the Death Guard in this epic fight. Alright, so, uh, welcome to this 2000 points battle. Space Wolves versus Death Guard. I don't think we've played this combination before. So excited to see how these two armies uh, attempt to try and destroy each other in this game. So Death Guard on a bit of a rampage at the moment. Uh, they smash their way through the Imperial Fists. And so uh, we'll let them loose here against the Space Wolves here in this fight. So uh, I'm running a Battleforged army here, a battalion, and a Vanguard detachment. Also get a bonus command point for having Bjorn the Fellhanded in the list as well. So 10 command points in total for this Space Wolves list. Uh, so uh, two HQs for the battalion first of all. Bjorn the Fellhanded, giving him the twin Laz Cannon as uh, his shooting weapon. Then second HQ is Krom Dragon Gaze. He's in the list as well. So that's the two HQs for the battalion. Then for troops, we've taken four. So uh, unit of Grey Hunters here. Uh, in each of these squads, there is a Wolfguard Terminator pack leader. In each of those, just to add a bit of extra protection. Uh, it's great. I've sort of split my old Terminator squad up and dotted them around inside these troops' choices here just to protect them a bit and to, to have a Terminator present in each of these squads. This one's armed with a Storm Bolter and Power Sword. Uh, and inside that squad, Bolters and Chainswords and Bolt Pistols for all of these. Two Plasma Guns inside the squad as well. Uh, then three units of blood claws here, three units of ten. Uh, the Terminator in this one has a Storm Bolter and uh, Power Axe for him. Uh, and then the other two uh, is twin Wolf Claws for each of uh, the Terminators inside the other two squads. So that's the troops. Nice uh, lot of regular 3 plus Space Marines here in this Space Wolves list. Uh, then I have a unit of Wolfen here. Uh, two of them with the Great Frost Axes. Uh, then two more with Thunderhammer and Storm Shield and then uh, the pack leader there has the Wolf and Claws. Yeah, it's Frost Claws. Uh, the pack leader has to take those. Then uh, Thunder Wolf Cavalry, one, two units of those. Uh, Bolt Pistol Chainsword uh, in each of these squads here. Bolt Pistol Chainsword for two of them and the other one uh, has uh, a Power Axe and Bolt Pistol. Uh, both configured the same. Uh, and then I've paid the points to give all of the models in these two squads uh, storm shields just to give uh, them the three plus in one save throughout the entire squad and uh, then two units of five Fenrisian wolves uh, freshly painted up and added into this list as well uh, so in the vanguard detachment here uh, one of the elites is the wolfen squad the other two elites here is murder fang uh, so that character dreadnought is in the list and then uh, a venerable dreadnought as well as well uh, with blizzard shield and the Fenrisian Great Axe uh, for him also. Uh, and then uh, the Rune Priest here is in the list. I've made him the Warlord. I've given him Saga of the Wolfkin as his Warlord trait. So he gets plus one attack if he charges, or if he is charged, or if he performs heroic intervention. If he slays five enemy models, he'll then grant other units within six inches uh, that bonus as well. I've also given him the Relic, the Wolfenstone. Uh, so bonus attacks available uh, for him and other units uh, nearby as well. Uh, he has the Runic Axe and a Plasma Pistol uh, for his war gear also. Uh, Psychic Powers him, Smite as per usual, and then Murderous Hurricane I'm going to try this time on him, and then Fury of the Wolf Spirits as well for his Psychic Powers. That's the list here for the Space Wolves. Mixed results from them. I think the revamped list here is an improvement on the previous list, uh, but this will be a, a big test for them here. Uh, we'll see if they can cause an upset against the Death Card, who are currently on a rampage and performing very well at the moment. We'll take a look and see what Aaron Allen has in his Death Guard list next. OK, so 2,000 points of Death Guard. Aaron Allen in command of these. He's painted them up. Uh, this is his own army here that he's put together and uh, mightily impressive it is. Uh, just to mention our 
patrons here, Marcus Anthony and Paul Cook, uh, for their support at gold level. And then you can check out the end credits and see those supporting at, at silver level as well. Uh, all of that support that comes through goes straight to our Wargames, Wargames Club SSWG. You can check them out at sswg.co.uk. And uh, any support that comes through helps out uh, our great Wargames Club. A lot of the terrain and boards that we see in our battle reports uh, comes from uh, that Wargames Club. Okay, so this is my 2,000 points of Death Guard. I have a Battalion Detachment and a Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment. In the Battalion, I have three HQs. We have a Lord of Contagion, we have Typhus, and we have a Malignant Plague Caster. Uh, for troops choices, we have three units of 20 Poxwalkers, as well as three units of six Plague Marines. Uh, two of those units have two Blight Launchers in them, and the other unit has two Plasma Guns. Then uh, for Elites, we have a Noxious Blightbringer, and for Heavy Support, we have two Plague Burst Crawlers with the Entropy Cannons and Heavy Sluggers on them. And then in the Super Heavy Auxiliary Detachment we have Mortarion, and Mortarion is the Warlord of this force. Alright, so that's Aaron's army here. Uh, great to see it finally reached 2,000 points. It's played a number of games already, uh, most notably a double battle we've played already against the Imperial Fists, uh, but now they will take on a fresh Space Marines chapter. So uh, Aaron runs the Rubicon Painting Service. I'll put a link in the description below, uh, but you can check out his website for painting commissions and get in touch with him uh, to have your own models painted up by him. But we're going now on to scenario and deployment now uh, for this mission. All right, so the mission here has been randomly determined. It's come from Chapter Proof 2018 this time, Eternal War, and it's mission number five, Supplies from Above. So uh, Hammer and Anvil is the deployment. Space Wolves are at this end. We chose this end here, uh, and then Aaron with his Death Guard will be at this end of the board. It means that Aaron will deploy first and go first unless the Space Wolves seize the initiative. There are four objectives on the board. Uh, these are placed before the map was determined. There's one just here, uh, just outside Space Wars deployment zone. There's one just here next to this Blood Angels container, uh, well inside uh, the Death Guard deployment zone there. And then there's one just on the very edge of the Space Wars deployment zone, and then one just inside uh, the Death Guard deployment zone, just there. So, uh, four objectives. Uh, one point each they're worth at the start of the player's turn those points are picked up so the armies need to manoeuvre themselves onto the objectives uh, and then try and pick up those points at the start of their turn uh, these objectives here are movable during the game uh, at the start of each battle round uh, we'll roll off whoever wins the roll off uh, can then move the objective up to three inches in the direction of their choice if the dice score is tied and the objective stays exactly where it is. Just represents these supplies descending down uh, through the sky and then gradually coming down towards the ground and uh, both sides need to try and secure those or secure the ground around them as much as they can in order to pick up the points. Uh, first strike, slay the warlord and uh, line breaker all available in this mission as well. Okay, yeah, and, and um, with the scenario here, uh, these points can be picked up turn two onwards. Turn one's not really going to count, it's just going to give armies a chance to manoeuvre around the board and get into position. So uh, another rule is units that can fly. Space Wars have none. Uh, Mortarion is the only model that can fly for the Death Guard. Uh, if that model is within range of an objective mark, it will count as securing that objective regardless of how many other enemy models may be within range. Uh, but then when it comes to troops... Uh, with a, that as a similar rule, then it goes back to whoever has the most models will count as holding the objective. So that's the rules then for this scenario. We'll go on to deployment now. So Aaron's going to deploy his entire army first. Then once he's deployed, uh, the Space Wolves uh, will then deploy their force next. All right, so just to mention the battle mat that we're using here in this game, it's from gamemat.eu. Uh, along with some of the terrain as well, we're using the industrial terrain set from gamemat.eu as well. I've been painting up uh, in my different colour schemes there. I've done a tutorial for that on YouTube, so you can check out how to uh, paint up and revamp the industrial terrain set from gamemat.eu as well. Uh, the mat rolls out nice and flat, then we just simply put our terrain on top, then use some scrub and some stones just to blend everything in. But you can check them out. Uh, for your supplies of uh, battle mats and terrain sets for your games of Warhammer 40,000. 
Right, so deployment complete for both sides here. Uh, really liking the look of this match up here. A aggressive deployment from both armies. Death Guard finished deploying first. And in response, uh, the Space Wolves have deployed all the way across their battle line as well. So Pox Walkers, uh, one unit, second unit, and the third unit. So from one side of the table to the next, the Pox Walkers stretch along. Uh, Multarian is here. This is the unit to watch throughout this game. Uh, victory or defeat hangs upon him. If, if he causes havoc in amongst the Space Wolves, it will all be over. Or if he's brought down somehow, then I think the Death Guard will be in trouble. Uh, then uh, Plague Marines uh, squad here with the Plasma Guns. Uh, squad here uh, with the Blight Launchers. And the other squad just down on top of the objective there. Also, uh, characters at the back. Uh, Typhus, the Noxious Blightbringer. Uh, malignant plague caster is just behind the barrels over there uh, the two plague burst crawlers uh, at the back one here and then one over in the other corner their mortars can ignore and uh, terrain uh, line of sight blocking terrain so uh, Aaron will be able to start picking on the space all straight away with those uh, one unit in reserve uh, the lord of contagion to arrive turn two Onwards. So that's the deployment done for the Death Guard. Quite straightforward. I think uh, Aaron intending here to sweep across the table. As to how far they want to go, we'll see. It's sort of two objectives each. Two for the Death Guard and then two for the Space Swords. Whichever army uh, prevails in managing to, to burst through the enemy lines may well go on to victory. But uh, we'll see. I, I still think it hangs on this guy, <laughs> Mortarian. We'll see what happens uh, to him during the game. We'll not be able to shoot him down, that's for sure. I've only got two Laz Cannon shots here. It'll have to be in close combat. Uh, where Mortarian uh, is possibly brought down. Space Wars deploying here. Uh, Grey Hunters on this side, on this anchoring this right hand flank. Uh, then Blood Claw units, one, two, and then three across there. Uh, the Rune Priest is here, just in amongst the Blood Claws. Uh, Bjorn is just behind them. Uh, that character Dreadnought hidden behind the line of Space Marines. Uh, then, just moving around just to show you that the Space Wars view uh, heading in this direction. Murderfang is just here. Just in front of him is Krom. Then, uh, the Venerable Dragnaut with the Venerian Great Axe and Blizzard Shield. And then I've done a cavalry line here. So two units of Fundorf cavalry and the wolves with them as well. Slightly put uh, further ahead than the cavalry. Perhaps use those as smite absorbers potentially but uh, the battle lines are drawn here it does look really good on the table there's no man's land expect that expect that area to be flooded uh, by units from both sides very soon okay so deployment complete here uh, when we get to the first battle round we'll randomize uh, or start moving these objectives around and uh, i'm going to try and seize initiative see if we can go first here by rolling a six which we do Hmm, interesting. Space Wolves get to go first here. So I think eager to get this battle underway. The Space Wolves now have seized initiative and they will make the first move in this fight. Yeah, so Aaron's not too bold. I think he'll just be glad that we move nicely into range of more of his guns. So it's not going to worry the Death Guard too much here. And if I get too close early on, <laughs> Terran will just plunge straight into the advancing Space Wolves here. So got to be careful. Uh, but I think the option for us definitely is to surge ahead uh, with as many units and models as possible. We'll see. We'll go on to turn one now. For the Space Wolves, the Space Marines chapter will make the first move.
All right, so we're on the first turn here, just about to move the Space Wolves. Uh, but we've randomised, or we've moved these objectives around here. Uh, we tied this one, so it stayed exactly where it was. It's just at the entrance of the container. Uh, Aaron won the roll off here, so he's, he's tucked it further behind the terrain piece. We tied on this one, so it stayed where it is. And then uh, this objective was here. Aaron shifted it across onto the Rhino, just there. So both sides need to be aware these objectives can shift around slowly. But surely uh, they can be moved and manipulated around the ball. But let the space rules make their first move now. Uh, the orders have been given to take the fight to the enemy. Here we go. We'll make some moves now with these uh, space rules units. Okay, so movement phase complete. All of the space rules units have moved, apart from Bjorn, who's remained where he is, just to get his last cannons as accurate as possible. 48 inches. He is in range of Volterran and line of sight. Also the Plague Burst Crawler here as well. So he's definitely got options for his firepower. Uh, the other units have surged ahead. Uh, this unit here of Grey Hunters has just moved six only. So they'll be able to shoot. Uh, but advancing of all of these units, the two units of Blood Claws. And in amongst them uh, is the Warlord here, the Rune Priest. Uh, then just come around the other side. I'd, I've pulled up behind this line of sight blocking terrain here uh, with the wolf and just trying to keep them out of sight for now. I know they can be targeted by the mortars, but uh, just trying to cut down the other firepower that can uh, fire at them. Uh, the third unit of Blood Claws here has swung around in this direction, making an advance move. Advanced of the dogs, this unit here has gone 15 in total, nice and quick from them. And the two units of Thunderwolf Cavalry uh, galloping up behind. Uh, Pretty quick advance moves made by them as well. Murderfang rolled a four, so 12 inches in total from him. He's swung around in this direction. Crom, uh, 11 inches as well, has moved uh, up in this direction also. And then uh, the Venerable Dreadnought has shifted around in this direction as well. So uh, that's movement done here for the Space Wolves. We'll go on to their Psychic Phase next. All right, Psychic Phase complete here. Uh, I've been taught a, taught a lesson here not to try and manifest psychic powers. So, uh, just with the, the death guard here, unbelievable dice throwing. So, it's the uh, the rune priest here. First, uh, murderous hurricane. Wanted to roll 20 dice to try and get sixes to try and take out some of the poxwalkers. Rolled a seven. Uh, Aaron denied that on a double six with Mortarian. And then went for uh, Fury of the Wolf Spirits to try and get the bonus attacks. And they went off on an eight. And Aaron rolled a double six again. So... Crazy dice rolls already in this game, but zero impact here in the psychic phase from the Space Wolves. We'll go on to their firepower coming up next. All right, so we're on shooting phase now. I just... The, the, the better target, the more likely to do damage is here. It's a 5 plus in one save, but psychologically I just sent, have to send a warning shot here uh, towards Mortar. I don't think Aaron agrees I have to do it. So uh, Bjorn's going to fire twin last cannons, so it's going to be twos to hit. Rerolling ones. I should get the two hits here coming through. There is a one. I'm going to reroll that and get a six. Okay. And uh, then three to wound. We have a command reroll for sure on standby. <gasps> one of them's made it through. Going to have to command reroll this one. Okay. So that's good. Two have made it through. Aaron will drop to his four plus in one save here. No doubt we'll have a command reroll on standby as well. Both have made it through. Interesting here. I, it, I'm not going to be able to command reroll my wounds. Whatever I roll will stick here. Uh, now, command point. He's going to command point, reroll this one. Four plus then to get this in one save. Yep. No, all of a sudden, 2d6 damage will come through. This disgustingly resilient available. This could set the space swords in a good mood here if we roll well. We've rolled an 11. Oh! <laughs> right, see ya. Beyond the fell handed. Right, so 11 dice needing 5 pluses. Gosh, shock horror results we're seeing. The game's barely started. We're seeing sets of double sixes being rolled, and now an 11 damage coming through against Mortarian himself. You might want to do a divert, you know, divert to your left here <laughs> if you survive and go after Beyond. Here it comes. Fives, fives and sixes. Ah, it's a pretty good recovery. There's four of them. Uh there so, but uh there's a seven yeah seven wounds have come through so scary enough here actually it's a, a fair bit of damage here against small i think the space wolves will celebrate that the, the butterfly wings here i've had some more holes shot in them here from beyond the fell handed so yeah strange result that uh, i was going to say against the run of play but there's there's no play so far this is the very early stages of the game but uh, a surprise result that seven wounds taken off Mortarian he's now down to 11 wounds remaining all right so that's the main firepower that's pretty much it but um, 
Good shooting here from Bjorn. That'll give heart to the Space Horse as they advance. A little bit of firepower here. Uh, the Grey Hunters to fire. A little bit of small arms fire from across the ball, but not much left here. We'll get that resolved next. Okay, so the rest of the firepower has been resolved. Uh, these units here are all making their advance moves, so no shooting from them at all. We did rem remember to pop smoke here uh, with the Venerable Dreadnoughts. So that'll be on minus one to the hit rolls uh, for shooting against that. And then we fired the Grey Hunters here, managed to bring down two of the Poxwalkers. Uh, that's not going to be affected by morale. Uh, no points we picked up here. Uh, for the objectives yet, that's going to start on turn two onwards, uh, and then uh, no units destroyed here at all, uh, so no first strike picked up here uh, by the Space Halls either. So that marks the end of turn one. The line has surged ahead. Uh, the Space Halls happy to take the fight to the Death Guard. Uh, now Aaron can respond here with his army, sensing a little bit of pressure on Mortarian. I... <sighs> These last cannon shots coming in each turn may well cause trouble. Bit of a fluke result here this time around. We'll go on to turn one now for the Death Guard. We'll see how they respond. Uh, whether they go aggressive against the Death Guard, hold their ground. Uh, but one thing is for sure they'll not do, and that is pull back. We'll go on to turn one now for the Death Guard Chaos Space Marines. Okay, movement for the Death Guard here on turn one for them. Uh, so Plague Burst Crawlers have remained exactly where they are just to get the maximum ballistic skill possible. Their weapons, I think mostly uh, in range, or virtually all of the weapons are in range here, so Aaron happy, happy to sit where he is. Uh, so anchoring this objective here uh, with this unit of Plague Marines, uh, then this unit of Plague Marines has moved upstairs uh, on top uh, of this generator here. This unit of Poxwalkers has advanced and sort of spreading out in this direction, acting as a screen. Uh, you can see Typhus and uh, the uh, Noxious Blightbringer on the move as well. They've advanced, heading off uh, across in this direction. And then uh, this unit of Poxhawkers has just moved, so they uh, potentially could charge. It's a long stretch. Mortarian, really watching to see where he goes. He's swung over in this direction, so here he is. And you can see the Space Wolf battle line, and there's Bjorn uh, facing him behind uh, the main Space Wolf line just there. We'll just go around the other side here just to show you the movement for the Death Guard on the other side of the board. Uh, so again, uh, Pox Orcas haven't advanced, they've just moved, so it looks like they're poised for a charge here to try and clear the front screen of Wolves away. Uh, or if they're shot to pieces to get through to the cavalry just behind. And uh, that's movement pretty much complete. You can see the other Plague Burst crawler happily sitting in that corner also. So we'll go now on to the Psychic Phase next for the Death Guard. We'll see what kind of damage and powers they can manifest on their Psychic Phase coming up next. Okay, uh, Psychic Phase complete here for the Death Guard. Bit of a, a shock result here. So Miasma of Pestilence, the power that usually goes off, uh, was denied. I rolled a 9. Uh, the Rune Priest rolled a 10, so that power's been blocked. That minus 1, that, that uh, useful minus 1 to the hit rolls against Mortarian has not gone off this turn. Uh, smite. No, what was the other power? Uh, Curse of the Leper. Curse of the Leper, yeah. That one didn't go off either. Uh, and then across the other side, Blades of Putrefaction has gone off. Uh, that's plus 1 to the wound rolls there for that unit of Poxwalkers uh, at the far side of the board. And then Smite was manifested as well. Uh, three of the Fenrisian Wolves brought down, just two of them left from that screening unit. That Psychic Phase complete. We'll go now on to Shooting Phase next here. The Death Guard have uh, significantly more firepower than uh, the Space Wolves, uh, so we'll see what kind of damage they can do. Okay, so we're going to kick off the Shooting Phase here with the Plague Burst Crawler. Uh, the Mortars are going to go after the Wolfen here, hidden away, but they can be uh, flushed out with that weapon. Two Entropy Cannons are going to go into this unit, here and then the heavy slugger to try and pick off the wolves here so choose your uh, slugger first slugger okay. okay so this is first strike potentially okay. uh, Aaron can so go for four, two, and strength five. three's to wound that's two wounds yeah that's fine minus one oh they're dead so that's the end of them they don't last too <laughs> don't last too long here I suppose they're acting as a bit of a screen yeah, no, they did. That was Smite that caused those three wounds. All right, okay. Well, job done then. Okay, so uh, that would have brought one of those models down, so fair enough. Uh, so now comes the, the entropy, cannons. entropy cannons into here. I had all of these models carrying now the three plus invon save for the storm shield, so that will help protect them to some degree. Okay, just the one hit comes through. Uh, three's for a wound. 
Yes, okay, so now we'll go on to our uh, in one save here, 3 plus. And it makes it alright, so the storm shield holds here and protects the Fundorf cavalry. So the mortar next, okay. so the shot's coming through. D6, just the two. Two, fours for hits here, and threes for a wound. Okay. Okay, and the minus on that is minus two, isn't it? Minus two. Minus two and D3 damage. Okay, well we're tanking on a three plus in one save. It's a, it is a two, we're playing hole facing here, so it's a two, and we will gonna have to command reroll this here. So I'll use the command reroll now, and we pass, but a command point has had to be used at this stage uh, to prevent that damage from coming through. Okay, so the squad on top here, blight launchers are gonna go into the Thunderwolf Cavalry. We've used up the command reroll now, uh, so we'll just be relying on those uh, three plus invon saves, and the bolt of firepower is gonna go into uh, the blood claws just there. Uh, yep, yeah, so bolter shots. All hit. And fours to wound. Oh, triple six. Okay. Well, tanking on the Terminator, this is the part of the philosophy here be behind this list. Uh, but I'm not going to do that because I've used up my command reroll. So I'll just go on regular Marines 3 plus. And we pass, so the power armor holds here. No damage coming through. Space Hall is quite resilient so far. Blight launchers next. Launchers yeah. Oh dear. Mm. Hit. Yeah. Three's for wound. wound. Wound comes through. Three plus in one save. We pass again. The shield holds. Right, next unit of uh, Death Guard Marines here. They're going to offload everything they have into this Blood Claw unit this time. So this is uh, Blight Launcher shots coming through. Okay. Yeah, Another bad. triple two. And no wound that time. No, it's freeze to wound. And then there'll be bolter shots as well. Did they remain stationary? Yes, yeah, so they're going to get uh, bolter discipline here. Hair attack has started units. Right. Fours for wounds. Two yeah, wounds. two come through. Again, I'll tank it on regular marines. Yeah, one's brought down. Glad I did actually. That would have put a wound on the Terminator. So just a regular blood claw. Uh, can be removed. Uh, so, uh, Mortarion's fired his lantern coming through, has uh, picked off one of the grey hunters just here. Going to move on to this uh, Plague Burst Crawler here. So, Aaron declare his firepower with that one. I think all the weapons are in range again. Yeah. Uh, last cannons heavy slugger into the grey hunters. Yes, here. And the mortar. mortar into the wolfen again. It's going after the wolfen again. Can try and flush them out. Okay. Okay, so mortar. D6 shots. Just the one. C could come on roll. It's tempting, uh, so it's yeah. the end of the phase. Okay, here it comes. Three. So three, okay. And then uh, fours for hits here. Just the one. Threes for a wound. No. Okay, struggling here at this stage. And then entry cannons, entry cannons into the Grey Hunters here. Have missed and then heavy slugger. Better firepower from that. <laughs> uh, then uh, three swoons, really good. Minus and it's minus one as well. So uh, three up save becomes four up, then plus one for being in the crater. Uh, so three up saves here. Another one rolled. Letter didn't put that on the Terminator. So uh, another one of the Great Hunters can be removed. That's two casualties now in total. Just to clarify this point, terrain. So playing craters here. Uh, usual rules for those and uh, if a unit finds itself on, on top of this entirely it'll get plus one to its cover save and then add uh, everything else we're going to play as line of sight blocking terrain including all of this scrub here as well just line of sight blocking terrain uh, rules for that is that a shooting phase That's it, done. it is complete now okay so a fair bit of firepower's come through but a, a, a lot of the time here we've seen the space wolf armor hold some casualties though number of marines uh, being brought down and Aaron can pick up a point here for first strike here. A unit of Venerisian Wolves has been destroyed. So that's the end of the shooting phase. Now we'll go on to assaults. We'll see if any charges can take place here uh, on Death Guard Term 1. All right, so charge moves complete. Uh, you can see mortarion has gone in just to cover the other side. Uh, the Poxhawkers have made it into close combat against both units of the uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry. No casualties though, did you take? 
No, no, no none at all. No casualties at all. Through a frag grenade, a couple of bolt pistols being fired, uh, but no damage uh, being caused. Then across here, uh, one wound came through. Aaron declared a charge against the blood claws here. A crack grenade was thrown. Uh, we supercharged with the plasma guns. Uh, but in the end, it was just one uh, bolt pistol wound came through, and Aaron easily passed that on a 2+. plus. Uh, it rolled up a 7. So he's made it to here. Uh, with the rules for craters... Uh, doesn't affect, we reckon doesn't affect Mortarian. Here's the fly keyword and following the rules for uh, ignoring models and terrain, treating them as if they were not there. So no restriction there uh, for the crater. So going seven inches, making base contact here. Uh, it hasn't reached the Grey Hunters, but there is the pilot move, which Aaron can roll around, staying closest to this model here, but can roll around and also make contact with the Grey Hunters, no problem at all. Uh, so then, uh, what's happened here as well? Heroic intervention has taken place. We've got a six inch uh, with space wolves, so uh, the rune priest has moved through. Bit of a technical question on the rules that we've uh, got here. So, when Aaron moves in, he's going to pile in a, and lap round in this direction to make contact with these. That'll put him over an inch away from the rune priest. Uh, then we were thinking the rune priest could then uh, make his pile and move and fight anyway but checking the rules here for fight sequence uh, number one it's choose a unit to fight with you can choose units either within an inch or that declared a charge so uh, he'll find himself not within an inch and he hasn't technically declared a charge it's an heroic intervention so he reckon the rune priest uh, when Aaron swings around this way, will not get to fight. He'll find himself over an inch away, and because he hasn't declared a charge, uh, will not then be able to make a pilot move. That's the way we're going to play it. If there is a different interpretation, or someone knows the right interpretation of that, then by all means leave it in the comments section below. But that's we think we're on the right track here, so uh, we'll leave uh, the uh, situation as it stands, as we see here. But I think the Rune Priest is not going to get to fight here uh, in this melee but we're going to combat resolution here charges on both flanks Mortarian on one flank and, and then the poxwalkers on the other we'll get these combats resolved next okay so uh, pilot moves been made here uh, just before that happens we need to do host of plagues here it's not going to uh, that pilot move is not going to affect the number of units been affected it's all the same uh, so uh, Aaron's going to roll up here so first one grey hunter unit host of plagues here yes D3. it's a, a deadly power two Two Grey Hunters can be removed from there. This is why Mortarian <laughs> has to go and quickly, because he'll cause havoc here. Uh, the Rune Priest? Yep. Got him as well. Two and all of a sudden... Yeah, whole facing, it's a one. Both in uh, unanimous agreement here. So one wound uh, on the Rune Priest, and then uh, the Blood Claw unit, the one that's been contacted. Nope. They've escaped, and there is another unit of Blood Claws just there as well. They have been hit, and D3... Two of them slain also. Uh, out of range here of Beyond, but uh, Marines being slain here by this host of plagues ability. So Aaron's going to have a blistering array of attacks here. He'll scythe a whole load of these models down. I think he's going to split the attacks between the two squads. Yeah, we're going uh, nine into the Grey Hunters and nine into the Blood Claws. Okay, an even split here. So nine attacks into the Grey Hunters first all. Aaron's fighting here first. There is a possibility the Space Wolves can use heroic intervention against the Poxwalkers, but we'll see what he rolls up here. Uh, Rerolling ones because of himself. Yep. I'll take it as twos. It's a couple of missed. Potential to wipe out the squad here, though. And then it's twos to wound. Uh, you're down to toughness three because of one of his abilities. It's the uh, toxic presence ability, reduces your toughness. Okay. Um, and I it's a plague weapon. Those. Okay. So that is six. six. At minus two. And the damage? Just one. Though it will survive then. Looks like the Terminator here is going to survive. Uh, oh, it might be more than that. Because we'll take five saves here, first of all. Uh, minus two, so past those, so two slain so far, and then one more, five plus. No, so three dead in total. So I have to drop these two, and I think we're going to have to lose... Oh, no, we'll lose the sergeant here. The regular sergeant guy can go, and we'll keep the two plasmas alive. So seven casualties in total now in this squad. But we kept the two plasma guns alive, and the Terminator uh, remains alive also. Okay, so... Uh, next, the nine attacks into the Blood Claws unit. Okay, uh, re rolling that. All hit. They've all hit. It's horrific the damage potential that Mortarian has in close combat. Re rolling 
ones. Yeah, for plague weapon. So They've all wounded. So it's a full nine. Oh, sorry. That's it. Okay. Uh, fives and sixes. Not too bad. Pretty good. Five of them hacked down as well. Uh, it's a bloodbath here at the blood claws being brought down. But a number have survived. We'll remove these five from plate. So, uh, well, Terran's resolved his combat here. You can see he's seriously thinned down uh, the Marines. I, I thought we were doing quite well for keeping Marines alive. All of a sudden, well, Terran's <laughs> just hacked down a whole load of them here. Still got some models remaining uh, alive from both squads. So we've got a chance to try and pick off a few wounds here. And then uh, we reckon the Rune Priest will not get to fight uh, this turn at least. So that's that resolve. We, we can't fight these yet. We've got to go to the other side of the board and let the Poxwalkers fight next. I'm not going to interrupt play. So let Aaron make his attacks uh, against the Thunderwolf cavalry. And the rest in here. So it's two attacks each. So 12 attacks into here. Right, okay. Six into there, uh, which is 12 attacks. So here they come. Uh, these guys are hitting on fours because there's more than 10 of them. Right, okay. Another technical question we have. If Aaron slays any of these models, can they turn into pox walkers? Is the pox dogs? Pox, <laughs> uh, pox wolves. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, fours. Or maybe let the dogs go. No. no. Oh right. Get, get two for one then. Oh yeah, you get. Okay. Uh, well, <laughs> sorry. sorry, I shouldn't laugh. It's just a natural reaction when you get dice rolls. Okay. Uh, so that's the attempt to wound here. Yeah. Just these tentacles here slapping on the side of the, the fur of these wolves. So that's their attacks done. Now it's this lot here coming through two attacks each. There'll be double the number of attacks here. 26 attacks coming through. Anticipating is hoping to absorb all the damage, keep all the models alive and then strike back here as hard as possible. Okay, here come the next batch of attacks. That's fine. There's a few Imperial Fist dice mixed in here. It's looking for fours. Yes, so uh, we didn't mention it. Aaron's on plus one to the wound rolls because of blades of putrefaction. So fives to wound becomes fours to wound. That'll really help out here. Uh, there's a th one three in there, was that? Oh, yeah. yeah, okay, that can dissipate. Fours for wounds. With that many wounds, you may well be able to bring some of these Thunderwolf cavalry down. Yeah, that's good. Right, so three plus. And we've just about managed to keep one of the Fundorf cavalry alive. So two wounds taken. Uh, Stick it on one of the, the regular Fundorf cavalry. Uh, but uh, the, the models at least will remain uh, for both of these units. Okay, so it doesn't matter which unit really. Uh, we'll go for this unit here. Uh, there's no pylons to make, so we'll go straight onto their combat. So uh, the two guys with chainswords, six attacks from them in total. Twos to hit. Weird dice rolling here. Crom's nearby, so we'll re-roll those two. And actually turns them all into hits. And your toughness is three. Three. Okay, so we're on threes to wound. Okay. And no minuses. Um so Aaron can make his disgustingly resilient rolls. What's the one? Okay, so four brought down. Do the guy with the axe next. They've all hit. We can Aaron can gradually remove these. They've all wounded as well. So three more at fives. No. no. Okay. So Aaron can remove seven. seven models so far. Never really got to use the Fundorf cavalry in close combat. Usually uh, shot to pieces at the early stage game. They do attract a lot of attention, but they're going to fight here. It's then going to be another nine attacks coming through. This is from the actual wolves themselves. Uh, one's gone off the table. Two's for hits. They've all hit. And this will come through. Uh, three to win strength five. So another five to make. Aaron passes two, but three more pox walkers uh, brought down here. So when I go onto this unit, I'm just going to tuck this guy. Well, let me think now. Uh, we'll do a consolidation move here with these, like so. Uh, okay, and then this one, we'll now go onto this next unit and we'll pile in like so with this one. Sense the space horse, the Fundorf cavalry starting to push their way through the pox walkers here. Uh, so it will be six attacks with these chainsaws from two of them. Uh, Rerolling one's note because this unit is away from Crom, so that one is a miss. Uh, wounded here, pretty 
Good rolls. Fives and sixes needed. Good bounce back though to here. Uh, just two of them can be removed. Okay. Uh, then the pack leader. With his three attacks, they will hit. Threes to wound, just the one. And okay, one more. And then finally, nine attacks here from the wolves. Not re rolling ones. And threes to wound. Just the four. We'll not wipe out the squad here, but uh, heavy casualties here on the Poxhawkers. Another four of them almost wiping them out, but. Uh, Aaron can pick which models he wants to remove here. Right, so uh, that's that combat resolved. Uh, consolidation, yet yeah, uh, this unit here. So I can, again, wrap round. That's about as much as I can do. I can maybe push that one over. Uh, but that's about as far as I can go with those. But uh, swirling around here in amongst the Poxwalkers and hacking them down without mercy. We'll go back over to the other side of the board now as the uh, Blood Claws and Grey Hunters fight desperately against Mortarian. Okay, so we'll go for the uh, Blood Claws first of all. This is the Terminator. Two attacks, plus one for having two of the uh, Frost Claws, and then plus one for the Wolfenstone being nearby. Twos for hits, and no re-rolling ones. No, Crom's too far away, or uh, Bjorn's too far away. Two wounds come through. Interesting with the Claws. And I'm re-rolled to wounds, actually, because I have a, a pair of them. No. So AP minus two for these, one damage. So Aaron will take his four plus imp on the save here. One makes it through, then uh, disgustingly resilient to try and block that on a five. Right, Aaron's just going to re-roll that uh, dice there. It's a five. It's a five. All right, great. All right, so he has blocked it. Okay. So, um, good result there. Uh, and then we've got, I reckon, yes, this is the attacks now for the regular blood claws. So there's four of them. Two attacks there. We don't get Berserk Charge because it didn't charge. Got uh, Chainswords and the Wolfenstone nearby. So, twos for hits. And then five wounds. I think I'm going to struggle to put a wound on Mortarian here. These are just going to be normal saves of two plus. Four of them. There's one. Mm -hmm. And a five plus. Okay, we've taken a wound off. So, down to ten now on Mortarian. Just mark that, I'll put it as a zero, but that'll represent ten for the wounds. That's that that's that combat resolved from that squad. We'll now go on to the Grey Hunters. Uh, so we'll just tuck in here with the Terminator. So uh, he can fight. Uh, so then here I, I won't get the Wolfenstone, it's three inches, not six, so these won't be affected. I've, I've just measured here if I do uh, pile in, I'll still not get to in three inches, so we'll leave them where they stand. Uh, so uh, the uh, Terminator here, just two attacks from him with a power sword, two hits, five to wounds. A wound comes through, AP minus three, so four plus in one save. See if we can pick another wound off. Yeah, five plus to try and stop this one. No, no down to nine here. So Space Wars Infantry getting a little bit of revenge for their fallen brethren. Uh, these two guys here uh, can attack, one attack each. They have chain swords as well, uh, so twos for hits. Uh, no re-rolls because they're too far away from Bjorn and one wound comes through, normal save of 2+. Yep, yep save that time. Alright, so I think that's combat's resolved across the board here. Okay, so yeah, combat's not quite resolved yet. Uh, I'm going to pay 3 command points to fight again. That'll leave me 5 command points left, but it's the, the far unit of cavalry. I'm going to try and... Uh, Destroy the pox orcs. There's two of them to bring down. We should be able to do it. It means it will free up if we wipe them out. It will free up both units of those Thunderwolf cavalry uh, to then move off and charge other targets. It's costly in command points, but tactically it may well prove useful here uh, with the Thunderwolf cavalry units. So we're going to fight with one of those units here. We'll go for uh, chain swords first of all. See if that'll be enough to to bring these down. So twos for hits, and this unit's too far away for any rerolls of any kind. Uh, okay, so four. This might be enough uh, by itself here. So fives and sixes. Yeah, they're gone. All right, so the pox orcas can be destroyed. We'll make a consolidation move. A uh, bit of overkill already, but tactically, all of a sudden, two units of Thunderwolf Cavalry have made themselves available to move off and potentially charge next turn. Okay, so uh, we've resolved morale now. Interesting results. Uh, all, uh, passing morale down here. Uh, this Blood Claw unit passing morale. Uh, here are all the three. So would have fouled by two, 
Didn't want to command reroll. It was too late to then try and auto pass morale. So I've kept the result. I've lost the two plasma guns, but that has then left this this lone uh, terminator here. I then pay one command point for the first time ever for the Space Wolves here uh, for this army. I played the Lone Wolf Stratagem. Uh, he's now turned into a character. He's going to get to reroll hit and wound rolls. And his wounds have been boosted from two up to four. So we've got a character all of a sudden. A hero has all of a sudden emerged here fighting against Mortarian. So that's the end of the turn. Uh, here, Aaron's picked up first strike, so we get a point for that. We'll go on to the second turn now for the Space Wolves. Uh, now you can start picking up points for holding on to objectives. Uh, but the battle lines have been drawn here between both sides. Uh, the army's edging closer together, and on the flanks, on both flanks, we've seen both sides clash here. Uh, Mortarian faring better on this side, slaughtering uh, Space Marines and bringing them down. Uh, but heroes being born at the same time. And over on the other flank, the Fundorf Cavalry have smashed their way through the Poxwalkers. And now this flank is exposed and open for attacks. So the game really uh, mixing up here already at this stage. Looking forward to turn two to see what happens. We'll go on to the Space Wolves second turn. We'll see what they can do uh, here and what can be done about Mortarian. Uh, at this stage of the game. We'll go on to turn two for the Space Wolves coming up next. Right, so we're on turn two for the Space Wolves. Uh, this objective has not moved. It was a tie. Uh, this objective, the Space Wolves won the roll off and we've shifted it to the other side of the barrels just to there. Uh, this one, uh, we won the roll off again and I shifted it off uh, towards this side. Uh, it's not too much you can do with the objectives. Then we won the roll off here. Uh, we were with over three inches away, but we won the roll off and shifted it this way, and now putting it within range to pick up the point at the start of our turn. So that's good news there for the Space Wolves. Looks like they will be able to pick up their two victory points at the start of their turn two for holding on to these two objectives. We'll go on to movement now. Uh, we'll see where the Space Wolves decide to go. Problem here, trying to deal with Mortarian, and then the attack uh, now uh, pressing on across the rest of the battle line. All right, so move for the Space Wolves done. It's difficult decisions to make here for them. We have broken off combat here against Mortarian. So uh, the Blood Claw unit here uh, pushing ahead. They're not getting to charge here or shoot, but they're heading off in this direction towards the Poxwalker line. Uh, Rune Priest has stayed exactly where he is. Uh, then here, uh, the Lone Wolf pulled out of combat. The character has now moved on top of the objective. Uh, that's just tucked in here. And then Bjorn, we have committed him. Eight-inch move in. Uh, planning to fire and then potentially charge into Mortarian then to try and strip down uh, the nine remaining wounds. Uh, then 
I had a cross here, this unit of eight blood claws now moving through. Reckon they need a six inch charge here against the pox walkers. Uh, blood claws moving through here as well. Uh, potentially can get into close combat against the death guard units ahead. Then uh, the venerable dreadnought here has advanced and shifted across round to here. And then uh, it rolled an advanced move, rolled a four. Uh, for the wolf. We've kept them at the back here. They're just sort of a, a backup unit, just in case Walterian goes on the rampage, uh, have a unit on standby here, and they're controlling the objective at the moment uh, at the back as well. Uh, Crom's moved up as well. Advanced move from him. Uh, beasts are allowed to go on top here, so we've put this unit of Fenrisian wolves on top to try and flush out the Death Guard Marines just up here. And then the cavalry swinging round 10 inch move made by both of these units. And uh, then advanced move made here by Murderfang, uh, screened here by the two units of Thunderwolf cavalry. It's a bit of a, a, a break for us. A unit swinging round on this flank here. Uh, for the Space Wolves. They've lost a good number of Space Marines, but their main assets here, the more dangerous units, are still well and truly alive at this stage. We'll go on to Psychic Phase now for the Space Wolves here on turn two. All right, Psychic Phase complete. Tried to play uh, Fury of the Wolf Spirits. That was the second power we tried to manifest and failed, but Smite went off. Rolled a nine, and Aaron didn't block that. Three mortal wounds caused. Aaron did stop one of those uh, with Disgustingly Resilient, but significantly here, two more wounds have come through here against Mortarian, just seven wounds remaining. Psychic phase complete. We'll go on to shooting phase next, and uh, Bjorn is going to fire at the same target again. So threes to hit this time because we moved with the last cannons and re-rolling ones. Get the two hits. Threes to wound. Okay, come on, re-roll. <laughs> Here it comes. No. All right, just the one. Aaron can roll his four plus in one save with a command reroll on standby here. No. And does he want... Yeah, okay, he's definitely going to reroll this one. Nope. Yeah, it's a two. I made it through. Okay. And what kind of damage potentially could we get this time? It's a four. We'll keep that. That's pretty good. Fives and sixes uh, to ignore damage. We'll just take away one of our uh, command reroll points. They are good dice rolling just as he needs a good result three of them blocked but one more wound manages to come through uh, so six wounds remain now on Mortarian so we've got a heavy flamer which causes five hits here and uh, needing fives to wound uh, fives to wound god two pretty good and then uh, three plus saves Two fives, no, holds there. Okay, so uh, that's beyond firing that. Uh, not too bad, though. Uh, down to six wounds now on Mortarian. Going to supercharge a plasma pistol here. That is a miss, and uh, there's stuff more we can do. We could try and command reroll it, but we'll... Uh, no, I've already command reroll off this phase, so that's uh, the shooting done from the Rune Priest. And then we'll look across the board here. There's some firepower to go. To add. Not too much, but a, a little bit of small arms fire to come uh, from the rest of the Space Wolves army. Yeah, so rest of the firepower resolved. Uh, we didn't want to fire any shots into these uh, from here because we want to keep... Don't want to lose the closer models if Aaron removes them from play. Just one shot fired through. Uh, no damage against the squad uh, of Death Guard Marines. One of them lost on top here. That was uh, pistol fire. Uh, and Stormbolt to fire from this squad. Crom couldn't fire, he advanced. Uh, crack grenades being thrown by the two Thunderwolf cavalry squads, closest model being uh, the Malignant Playcaster here. Uh, he's taken two wounds in total, pistol, pistol fire as well, uh, causing some wounds. So two wounds taken. How many wounds does he have in total? Probably about four or five, yeah, okay. So some wounds come through, but he's not been destroyed. And that is all of the firepower uh, resolved here. So shooting phase complete. This is it. Moment of truth here. We reckon turn two is going to be crucial in this game and the melee phase for both sides. We'll go on to charges and overwatch next for the space force. I've got a number of units that can attempt uh, charges here into this death guard army. Okay, so uh, charges taking place. No damage in Overwatch here from Walterian. Uh, you can see there Bjorn's made it in. So too has the Rune Priest. Couldn't charge here. These made it into close combat. A uh, foul charge here. Command reroll and still fouled. So didn't make it in with this unit uh, with Crom just behind. Uh, the Wolves, the Fenrisian Wolves upstairs made it in but did take two casualties in Overwatch. Uh, and then around here you can see the Thunderwolf Cavalry sweeping around this flank. Typhus uh, will be able to make it in uh, with... 
uh, heroic intervention, no problem at all. Uh, we declared the charge uh, against the malignant playcaster there, but also against the poxwalkers of both units, and we'll be, we'll be able to make contact uh, there with this unit of uh, Thunderwolf cavalry against them. They're pretty good at taking down poxwalkers, so I wanted to try and uh, make contact with that unit. Okay, so Space War's breaking through here and there. Is it enough, though? Uh, we'll go on to combat resolution next. Got to pick our first combat wisely here. Uh, who to fight with first? Five plus because of the damage. Okay, we'll do host of plagues. It's the very first thing to do. So uh, this unit of blood claws here yep. have been struck by this and have taken... Oh, it brings tears to your eyes. Three casualties here uh, taken. Okay, and then... The Wolf Priest, or Rune Priest, I'd rather not... Oh, no. And do not roll a 5 or a 6, otherwise there he's <laughs> rolled a 6. Oh, dear. Right, so he's now dead. That's Slay the Warlord. <laughs> dear. Oh, no. Bjorn, he won't die, but you can't hit another one. Oh, okay, you're right, he survived. Oh, no, my... Yeah, the hero that's just been born... No, we've, uh, it's hole facing three. Uh, Aaron's called it as a three, so that's fine. So he's escaped, and that's about it. But a host of plagues ability causing trouble again. <sighs> Warlord slain, not good. It's a point picked up uh, for that as well. The psych has been lost, and a load of attacks. It's going to have to be Bjorn by himself now. Uh, completely on his own now, fighting against Mortarion. He has to bring him down. Mortarion will destroy this Dragonaut if uh, we don't bring him down first. It really is a deadly blow. Just as I, I thought the Space Wolves beginning to edge ahead in this game at this very early stage, uh, they've now lost their Warlord, and uh, a lot of models being lost here all of a sudden. So we'll fight with Bjorn. He must destroy Mortarion here, otherwise there's going to be a breakthrough on this flank uh, for the Death Guard. All right, so let's do this here. I think the end of turn two, Aaron and I just discussed in the game, I don't think there's going to be much left on this table. It's uh, horrific damage here and we're we're barely through uh turn two here but we'll, we'll fight it's gonna be five attacks this is a very very high pressure combat here at a very early stage in the game beyond hitting on twos re-rolling ones they've all hit we're fighting at strength 12 here for the true claw threes to wound re-rollable we'll re-roll these two i reckon if i can get 2d6 damage here against uh we'll tear and there'll be trouble They've all wounded. We c couldn't ask for more from uh, Bjorn the Fellhanded. Aaron to make four plus in one saves now. <sighs> it's past three. And now uh, yes, I'm gonna have he's going to come on roll I can't believe he's past three of them. Oh, he's past another one. <clears throat> I only hope he's drawn a six. A three, disgustingly. and now disgustingly resilient. Nice, oh, no, <laughs> save two of those. So hang on a second, what's my total damage? Uh, one. one. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable, down to five. Okay, so, well, you don't even need to interrupt play here, do you? Yes. Because you can, you can just leave it. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, that's right. Just yeah, but you can interrupt play somewhere else, actually, so... Uh, if you so wish. We'll see what Aaron decides to do. That option is available here for two command points. Yeah, Aaron's going to interrupt play here with the Malignant Plague Cast. The idea is to try and pick off one wound from one of the Thunderwolf Cavalry and that will reduce one of those models uh, down. So he sees the, the need to do that. There's no need to interrupt play here because there's no one else to fight against Mortarian. So... Here's your three attacks. Yeah, here come the attacks here. Threes to... Hmm. Just looking around. I just heard Aaron whisper there, that was rubbish, which <laughs> it was <laughs> just the ones come through. He's just checking to see if there's any reroll one abilities at all, just looking around. No, Not so good. good. Okay. Okay, so one. Uh, strength, this is uh, six. Okay, it's still three to wound. Yes. Yeah. And we'll take the three plus in one. Two, you've done it. You've got through. Okay, so that model with the wounds can be removed from play. And he's gone. So mission accomplished there. Uh, one of the Thunderwolf cavalrymen has been destroyed. Fight with the Fenrisian Wolves next. Six attacks from those three. Uh, they've all hit here. Plus one to hit rolls. Fives to wound, though. What? I don't know what to say. Okay. Minus one to the AP. So four up saves. They could wipe out the squad here. Oh, no. Three, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Fury is customer resilient. Yeah. So you have both on sixes. <laughs> Two sixes. Oh, this is extreme stuff going on here, but uh, no impact there uh, against the Death Guard Marines. Yeah, okay, just a rules correction there. Just checking the rules for Fenrisian Wolves. They're not cavalry, they're beasts. They don't get the plus one to hit rolls for Hunters Unleashed, but the result's the same. Uh, no damage taken. So we'll move on to the next close combat here. We've got uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry breaking or attempting to break through here on this flank. So we'll do the attack on the right hand side uh, against the Noxious Blightbringer. Chainsword attacks first, so all the attacks from this unit going into him. So threes or twos to hit here on the charge. Uh, his toughness would be five. So we'll fives to wind. Zero from them. Uh, then three attacks for the axe. So hit. Fours for wounds. Just the one. And uh, it's minus three. Six up. And then a disgustingly resilient roll. One, okay. Yeah, no, it's whole face, that's fine. Okay, so uh, one wound taken. Uh, then nine attacks in total for then the uh, wolves fighting last of all. So they have claws and teeth attacks in twos. There's no re rolls around. Uh, Force to enter because it comes in at strength five. Yeah, so three. So I don't think we're going to bring this character down. Uh, minus one. This one. Fours. One makes it through. No. no, two wounds taken. Okay, failed to bring that character down. We'll see if we can uh, bring down the malignant plague caster next. Yeah, we'll, we'll try and make sure we bring that psyker down. So we'll go for all of the attacks. So uh, two chainsword attacks first, or three chainsword attacks actually in total. Uh, Five to wind. So one wind. Normal, no minus at all. And six. it's a six, yeah, no, it's passed, that's fine. And uh, then the axe now hits, falls to wound. Yes, two wounds come through, minus three. Failed. Okay, and then fives and sixes need to pass one of these, I think, to keep them alive. One. Pass one, okay, so wound taken. Uh, and then cavalry, again, this character might survive here. Twos for hits, fours for wounds. Two make it through, minus one. So four ups, two fives. He's kept the Psyker alive as well. Good play. All right, so uh, the the breakthrough not really occurring on this side here for the Space Wolves. They're struggling at this stage. So remaining combats will be this one down here. Um, yes. Yes, right. Toughness three here. This unit of Blood Claws charging in. That's all of the Chainsword attacks. This is a twos to hit. So we'll just take those away. And then we'll be on uh, threes to wound it. That's oh, not bad at all here. It's pretty good. So five, ten, eleven disgustingly resilient rolls to make here. Wow, that is a good roll. Well, there's a lot of fours. Seven. Seven brought down. We'll do the uh, terminator here. Two. One for the weapons, the two claws, and then one for charging. So twos, uh, no rerolls available of any kind, and then uh, two wounds, and it's rerollable. Yep, three more. So that's seven. So you have two, an extra one, so eight. Eight, in eight in total. Okay, so eight of the pox walkers can be removed. Okay, Aaron's going to fight back here. He's made a pile of move. They're all uh, going to get to fight. So twenty uh, attacks here in total. Some some of them. Just with a fence in the way, but they are, uh, it's no problem, the range is fine for them to fight. So fours for hits? Uh, fives, because there's ten, not more than ten. Ah, yes, okay, so they've been reduced here. So Aaron again using these captured Imperial Fist dice from the <laughs> previous game. Okay, that's fine. And strength is? Uh, strength is three. Okay, yeah. fives to wound. Uh, just two. Two. All right, so uh, half tempted to tank these on that. No, keep the Terminator alive, so three plus. Yeah, passed. All right, so no damage there. Uh, Aaron can fight back. There's a lot of units, actually, to fight back with here against the Space Wolf, so I'll work our way through uh, these uh, counterattacks here from the Death Guard units. Okay, uh, so 28 attacks here against the Thunderwolf Cavalry. That's this unit. Poxwalkers, larger units. They'll be on force to hit here. So it's going to start averaging out a good number of hits will come through, and then it'll be fives to wound again. 
Strength four. Okay. Yeah, within range of uh, Typhus there, so they'll get the plus one to their strength. So, uh, f a well, a toughness five actually, Fundorf Cavalry. Okay. So fives to win. Okay. Uh, that is four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven. Three up saves. All of a sudden, a lot of saves required, and almost bringing one of the cavalrymen down. Two wounds taken, uh, on one of the other walls. Be the one at the front with the chain sword. Okay, this is the uh, Noxious Blightbringer yeah. fighting now. So it's actual hit. Um, strength four. Okay, fives to wound. One. One wound, yeah, um, no minus. Three up in one save. Pass, just about. So uh, Typhus fighting now. See if he can break through the, the in one save here. Doesn't re roll that. So. Okay, and it is strength seven. Threes for wounds. All wounded. Okay. Minus three. And the damage? Three. Flat three. Gotta pass these. Uh, drop dice here. Almost. First one. That's <laughs> a one. Uh, I'm gonna let that go through. Please don't go. Oh, no. Right, now just just don't roll one or a two here, otherwise it <gasps> Oh dear, I've managed to keep the, the pack leader alive, but uh the two cavalrymen next to him are gone. Good result here and good intervention from Typhus. I, with that, I'd say the Space Wolves uh, are losing their grip on this game now. They're starting to, to get outnumbered by the Death Guard and the game is beginning to, to switch over. Yeah, and Typhus is now beginning to swing around. Space Wolves thinking they had a breakthrough, uh, but they've been lured into a death trap here on this flank and not looking particularly healthy for them. Their attack seems to have bounced off the death guard here and it's sort of half-hearted through the centre of the board and then well tearing in trouble with the damage is taken but Bjorn uh, yeah Aaron's gonna start getting his dice ready. What an insult to use Imperial Fist dice against us as a harsh reminder of the of the slaughter that took place in our previous games but he'll roll them anyway. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. So we're using the eviscerating blow this time. Yes. So five attacks now. Five attacks. Yeah. Uh, two's to hit. Two's to hit. All hit. Yeah. Um, he is strength sixteen. Uh, yet yeah, two's to wound, and it's a plague weapon. Yep. So we're rolling those three ones. Oh man. Uh, okay. Yep. So they've all wounded. All wounded. Yep, minus but four. Fair's fair, because I hit and wounded with all of my five dice as well. Isn't that nice? The, they've uh, both five precisely on, on both sides there. Very fair. Uh, so we'll take our invun save, which we don't have. Um, so AP minus... Four. Oh, no, please. AP minus four. Right, okay. Uh, I, don't, I think we have a three plus save. I think you're just going to bypass the armour. Yeah, I'm toughness eight, but it was still two to wound. I'm, I'm trying to fight. I've got smoke launchers. I've got nothing. There's no invulnerable. All I've got is five plus to ignore damage. Five d six. Oh, it's quite low. That was a six. That's fine. Yeah, six. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen. It could have been a lot worse. I think we're dead. Even if we hang on with, well. We'll just see what we roll here. Fives and sixes. That's five, ten, fourteen. You just okay. I'll take those away, and that one is not going to be enough here. He's got eight wounds, and he is dead. And even with a command reroll, ten. Okay, so he's gone. But only in death does duty end. We'll lose, or yeah, we'll use our last two command points to fight again uh, before Bjorn the Fell Handed is removed from play. Can he bring Mortarian down with him? Yeah, all right. Command points all used. It's only turn two, but the True Claw is raised for the last time here against Mortarian. Twos for hits. They've all hit. Threes for wounds. Rerollable. They've all wounded, yes! Bjorn the fell handed. And here it comes. Invan saves. Oh boy. <gasps> no! No! An Imperial Fist dice! He's past all five. Okay. Space Wolves don't cry. Space Wolves don't cry. Okay. Right, that is utterly horrific. Uh, in my mind, I hear the words concede being repeated over and over, but we cannot, but uh, all of a sudden, there is uh, terrible trouble here. 
for the Space Wars. I thought we had this game here. We were doing very, very well, but all, it's just uh, it's all gone wrong here at this stage. Beyond the Fellhounded is gone. And we will leave the True Claw behind here, but that's all that's left of this noble dreadnought. He's been destroyed, but he got his 5 out of 5 hits, 5 out of 5 wounds, and he did it again. But an incredible dice roll just at the right point in time. Uh, 5 out of 5, 4 plus Invon saves being passed by Mortarion. We thought we had this character in serious trouble, but he uh, is still well and truly alive and destroying all in his path. So, yeah, Aaron does have to fight here with his uh, Plague Marines. They can fight on and try and cause trouble for the Fenrisian Wolves, and then that'll be the end of close combats here. Yeah, so Fenrisian Wolves have taken two more casualties, just one of those dogs alive, nine of them slain so far. One model remains, and morale may well be a problem uh, for the last dog. So we'll get uh, morale resolved now. A number of morale tests to take across the board, and then that'll be the end of the turn. Okay. Uh, so morale resolved, passed here just about, no problem, uh, there's no morale issues anywhere else apart from the lone dog which uh, has scampered away and given up in this fight, uh, failing its morale test. Okay, I'm just going to mention this combat again, it could have gone either way, you know, incredible dice rolling, uh, passing all of those 4 plus invon saves, but it could it could have swung around where they're all not saved, and a whole lot of wounds could have come through. But that's just the way the game's turned out here. Uh, Mortarian lives. Uh, we've let Aaron... He should have made his consolidation move. Let's put him now on top of the objective. There's two models here. Uh, oh, now this is interesting. Uh, Aaron can fly, so he would count as having that objective, but we are troops, so it's a similar ability. It's a trade-off. So I think it's going to be just cancelling out that objective there. We'll double check but I, I, I'm not sure if the Death Guard will pick that point up. But we'll end Space Wolves turn two. They had a chance to really uh, punish and cause damage here against the Death Guard but they have failed here. They've lost their Warlord. Bjorn the Fell Handed has been destroyed here and casualties beginning to mount. Not, not looking particularly healthy for them. Still some heroes though on the table so the game is not all over yet but uh, there's been total carnage so far and we've only played I uh, haven't even played oh, two turns yet. Uh, so we'll go on to the second turn now for the Death Guard. I'm not sure much is going to be left after turn two, but we'll see what kind of damage the Death Guard can do and what Mortarion will decide to do next as well. Turn two coming up next for the Death Guard. Okay, so we're on turn two now for the Death Guard. Uh, so we're saying uh, don't get the points here. Uh, unit can fly, would usually get it, but I'm a troop, so then it goes down to model count, and it's just one model each, so the Death Guard don't pick that one up. They do get the point here for this objective, so at one point picked up there. And we've checked the range, uh, we'd move the objective to the other side of the barrels there. We have two models, Aaron has one, this one's just out of three, so a model count, uh, we control it there with the Thunderwolf Cavalry, so they actually will deny uh, the Death Guard that objective for this turn at least. So in total the Death Guard will pick up one point uh, for objectives. But remember they do have their Slay the World and First Strike uh, having been picked up uh, previously. So we'll let Aaron make his moves. He's got to try and counter the Space Wolves here uh, at this stage. Alright, so movement complete here. Poxwalker's happy to stay in close combat. Uh, then both of the Plague Burst Crawlers in each corner have elected to stay exactly where they are. This unit happy to stay where it is. Uh, then well, Terran's jumped 10 up and over. It looks like he's going after uh, the Venerable Dreadnought here to try and take him down. Uh, then across here, Poxwalker's happy to stay in close combat against the Thunderwolf Cavalry. And Typhus uh, and the Noxious Blightbringer happy to stay in close combat against the Thunderwolf Cavalry as well. Uh, the Malignant Playcaster has pulled out of close combat, and you can see the Lord of Contagion has turned up just over 9 inches away from Murderfang. It would be useful to try and bring that Dragnaught down as well. So uh, the Hunted, or the Hunters become the Hunted now. Space Wolves uh, being pursued now by the Rampaging Death Guard Chaos Space Marines. We'll go on to Psychic Phase next for the Death Guard here on turn 2. Okay, right, so, uh, Psychic Phase complete, a lot of Smite going off here, but Miasma of Pestilence, so now Mortarion is on minus one to hit. Smite was also cast to him, Aaron rolled a double six, and a Command reroll had already been used, so that Peril did go through, and two uh, wounds being taken, uh, 
wasn't stopped by disgustingly resilient. So down to three now of Morterra, and he's barely alive, uh, but still very dangerous, even with only three wounds remaining. Uh, the smite went off d6 uh, against the Dregnaught there, the closest model. Took four wounds, but rolled two sixes, being venerable, and just two wounds taken in the end. Then uh, smite here uh, struck the lone Fundorf Cavernman here. Uh, two lots of smite coming through and has removed him from play. And then uh, Blades of Putrefaction going off again. Just that, yeah, we can't block any of these powers now without Warlord being slain. So, Psychic Phase complete, pretty good. We'll go on to Shooting Phase next here for the Death Guard on turn two. Okay, yeah, struggling to find targets here to, uh, with the Plague Burst Crawler. Uh, it was going to fire at Murder Fang, but Character. Uh, then tried to fire here, but Character. So all the characters, this is the idea for the Space Orbs. He's going to go after this one here. Uh, entropy cannons can't see, uh, but the Mortar can reach them and doesn't need line of sight. So D6 shots. Five. That's good. It might be enough to, to bring these down. Uh, just just two. the two hits coming through. Threes to wound. Uh, or twos, strength eight. Uh, yes, strength eight. Twos come... Okay, and then minus two. Minus two. Okay, um... I'll go to him first of all. Yes, okay, and we'll go to him again. Whoa, holds, okay. So no damage from that Plague Burst Crawler. There's still this one here to fire. Yeah, and uh, now with line of sight, no problem at all. It's everything now uh, from this second Plague Burst Crawler uh, into this unit here. Mortar, four. Four shots. Again, it might be enough to wipe out this unit here. Fours two hits. and two to wind. Two to wind, reroll because of Plague Weapon. Yep. So two wins. Okay, so five up, five up again. No, he's dead. Uh, then four up now for the Terminator. Now he's dead. D3. Yeah, three or more will do it. No. One wound taken here uh, on this lone Terminator. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm marking up the wounds here, but Aaron's got two entropy cannons still to go. Oh, which both miss. And then heavy slugger. Uh, three hits. Three's to wound. Three wounds. Minus, Minus one. Yeah. Three up saves. First one. Survived. Dead. And survived. Okay, so he's gone. That's that unit of blood claws now wiped out. Okay, so uh, rest of the firepower uh, has been resolved here. Uh, this squad of blood claws uh, decimated. That was firepower coming in particular from these two squads here. Blight launchers, bolters all causing trouble. So good firepower uh, from those two uh, Death Guard squads. They're firing through here. Uh, it was a bolt around in the end that put a wound on the Venerable Dreadnought, and then uh, the Lantern firing through here as well uh, had helped to put a wound on this squad also. That's firepower now resolved entirely for the Death Guard here. They've got the upper hand in this game, uh, with Mortarium, but the other units as well uh, prevailing across the board and doing very well indeed. We'll go on to Charges and Overwatch next, see if they can push the Space Halls back here uh, from this Space Marine Assault. We'll go on to Charges and Overwatch next. Okay, Charges have taken place. Uh, Typhus and the Noxious Blightbringer have made it into combat against the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Uh, the Charge didn't go ahead and roll two threes. Very difficult. It would then need uh, a six on a Kamar reroll, so he's saved the command point. He's got two left. We have uh, none here for the Space Wolves, but uh, Motorfang's not been contacted. Then, uh, with the new rules, or the clarified rules for units that can fly and roll high enough to jump up and over behind the Venerable Dreadnought here uh, to attack him. Uh, and then Krom then made heroic intervention. But Aaron wanted to jump over here to try and maximise his Host of Plagues ability. And that's all the charges yeah, that have taken place. Okay, and then both units of Poxwalkers already engaged in close combat. We're going to combat resolution next here. If the Space Wolves are struck hard enough, that may well knock them out of the game here at turn two. We'll see. We'll get these combats resolved next. All right, so Host of Plagues is a six. The Wolfen here at the back are oh, nicely in range. No. The Venerable Dreadnought here is a six, so that's fine. And D3 wounds. Just, Just the one taken. Uh, and in Six plus here for Venerable? No. Okay. Uh, Crom, yes, six to strike him. Nope. nope. And the blood claws. Yes, they're in range seven as well. Nope. Right, okay, that's all the units. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, you can strike him. 
the Blood Angels Terminator on the throne, but I think it looks like he's already been the victim of a host of plagues already. So uh, that's that power. That happens right at the start of the fight phase. We'll let Aaron choose. Well, I can't interrupt plays. All the charges are going to get to fight here without any interruption. Four attacks, no? Yes, because of his damage. Okay, this is Mortarian here fighting against the Venerable Dragnaught. There is a slim chance that we could survive here, possibly, and turn around and strike back with the Fenrisian Great Axe. We have a Blizzard Shield to try and prevent the damage from coming through. No command rerolls available, though. It's just going to be hoping on some decent 4-plus in von saves uh, being made here. But I think we are doomed. We'll see what Aaron rolls up here. So, he's still on 2s to hit. Yeah, does Kram have an in von He does, 4-plus, yeah. 4 plus, okay. Yes. Uh, no, everything into the Okay, here it comes. Uh, all hit. They've all hit. All wounded. Yeah, they're all wounded. This is good here. Okay, so for for tension here, all these one at a time. I'll probably foul the first one. Here it comes. Foul the first one. Yeah, roll another one. I right, passed that one, and passed that one. Okay, two d six. A very very slim chance. Ah, no, eight. So that Dragnaught is a goner here. Well, roll anyway. You never know. You never know what you might roll. It's not nowhere near enough. And do you know what? I hope we explode. We don't. No, okay. Uh, Dragnaught destroyed. If he was on full strength, he m might have done better, but he's not. He's been previously damaged, and now uh, this venerable Dragnaught is no more. Alright, Typhus fighting next. Four attacks into the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Yeah. Uh, this is strength seven. Threes for wounds. Re rolling ones because plague weapon, yeah. Um, so that's three. Three. Yeah, three. Uh, three plus in one save. We found one. It's a model that's already on two wounds, so that one there can be removed. Yeah, he's gone. Okay. Now, Noxious Blightbringer fighting next. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three attacks. Uh, Toughest five, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not good. No wounds coming through. Okay, so the lone uh, pack leader remains alive with the uh, power axe. Uh, talk about the poxwalkers here. Uh, this model's been removed from play for the space halls. Now there's no models within an inch. Uh, the poxwalkers didn't charge, so I reckon they are out of the combat now uh, with no models to fight against. Yeah, again, we've checked it there. It's any any models within an inch, find themselves within an inch of an enemy unit, or that charge. Uh, so the Poxwalkers didn't charge this turn and are not within an inch, so they find themselves out of the combat. And so the lone Fondorf Caravan survives. We'll get to fight back either against Typhus or the Noxious Blightbringer. Uh, and you now pick a combat, so you can pick this one here to fight back against the Blood Claws. So 18 attacks here against uh, the Blood Claws here. Aaron's determined to try and t uh, turn one of these space wolves into a box walker hit. That's the hits coming through. Uh, fives. Fives, oh, yeah. Fives, okay. Fives. Yeah, one of them didn't make it. That's fine, okay. And then here come the wounds. Some. Three. Three, okay. I'm determined not to let one of these turn into one of those disgustingly resilient things, so I'm going to take it on the Terminator. Twos. Oh, no, please. Oh, he's survived. He's wounded. He's, you're almost going to turn a Terminator now into one of these things. So the wounds have now got to be taken on him. That's a shame, uh, trying to tank those hits there. We'll fight back with the squad. So Terminator fighting. Hits. Uh, wounds, it's really rollable. Your toughness is... Three. three. Yeah, they've all wounded there. So three disgustingly resilient rolls. Nope. Okay, so three brought down. Threes of the others. And then threes again. Not too good. Six. Which will not wipe out the squad here. But still, five more can be removed. All right, so uh, pretty good. One of these poxwalkers left. Uh, so that locks me in combat to some degree. Next turn I can use my pistols to try and shoot and kill him and then potentially uh, move on and charge. We'll fight with the cavalryman now. Uh, we'll go against the noxious blightbringer here. So threes for hits. No kind of rerolls available. Force for wounds. One wound comes through. Uh, minus three. Six up. Nope. And then a five plus. Okay. Yeah, passes. Okay, well done. And, ah, yes, how can we forget? 
There are still heroes here for the space halls. Where is Crom? He's, he's, he's there somewhere. He's, there he is. <laughs> he's there behind Maltarian. Okay, so we'll fight with him next. Uh, five attacks here with Crom. Two's to hit, minus one, and then plus one because we performed heroic intervention. So uh, here we go. Two's. Yeah, so that's whole face. That's a two. Okay. Five's to wound. Just, just need a good roll here. <gasps> yes, Crom. Excellent roll. Uh, minus two, so two up, three up, four up. Four up, by the way. Four up, okay. <gasps> Make them all. You can't keep, do that's ridiculous here. <laughs> two sixes and a five. Oh, one here after the next steps up against Mortarian, and the dice rolling is unbelievable. Okay, so I don't know what to say. End of turn. Uh, morale might be a problem for this squad. And it's end of the battle round as well, so things might shift around a little bit here. Objectives may potentially move uh, as we go on to the third turn. Space Hall's still in the fight to some degree. Crom's still alive. Uh, Murder Fang's still alive. And crucially, here for the Space Hall's, uh, the Wolfen uh, may well be able to spring into action and try and save the day uh, as we go into the middle stage of the game. We're going to turn... Uh, three now for the space halves. We'll just resolve some morale and then we'll head on to the next turn. Yeah, so uh, morale resolved here. Uh, despite a nation of no fear, the heavy amount of casualties, seven casualties taken, uh, that unit of uh, wolf claws has been, or blood claws, has been destroyed. So just one unit of them left now, currently stuck in combat against a lone poxhawker. We're going to turn three now for the space halves. They need to do something to try and turn the situation uh, around here, otherwise, they will lose here against this Chaos Space Marine army. Okay, so uh, we're on turn three now for the Space Wolves. Objectives, I won the roll-off here and pulled it in this direction. Uh, I lost the roll-off here and Aaron's pulled it away, so at the start of my turn I'll not count as controlling that objective. Uh, won the roll-off here and have pulled the objectives just under the base of this wolf, and so we'll get that point. And uh, then we won the roll-off here and pulled the objective that way. will not count as holding that objective. So uh, that's the way the objectives have turned out. We'll go on to movement phase now for the Space Wolves on turn three. Okay, movement done for the Space Wolves here on turn three. Uh, we tuck this character in, uh, the Lone Wolf, to try and uh, chase this objective here and secure it for potentially next time around. Uh, then ongoing combat just down here. Uh, the Thunder Wolf Cavalryman has remained in close combat and then Murder Fang's moved up to try and lend some support. Uh, the Wolfen have moved round, advanced move made by them, but they can still charge 12 inches in total to charge into Walterian. And then Krom has disengaged, uh, disheartened here with this close combat and uh, going to use this character to try and anchor this objective at the back. So that's movement done. We'll go on to... Uh, shooting phase next here for the Space Wolves on turn three. All right, shooting phase complete. Not much, really, but just about managed to complete this here. Uh, we shot right between the eyes the last uh, Poxwalker from that squad. That's freed them up to potentially charge in that direction. Uh, then uh, Heavy Flamer and Stormbolter from Murderfang fired through and managed to bring down one of the Plague Marines just here. And then fired a bit of Daka uh, with our Stormbolter uh, through against Mortarian. Two wounds in total and two saves made. Charges and Overwatch next. Okay, uh, charges taking place, all, all gone according to plan here. Uh, so uh, the Blood Claws have made it in just against the Pox Orc, as we declared. Uh, then Murder Fangs uh, charged in against Typhus and also uh, the Playcaster as well. Uh, then across here, uh, no damage on Overwatch from uh, Mortarian, and that's. Uh, the wolf and charging it. Now, if they're slain, they get to fight before the models are removed. So it's a pretty tasty unit there against Walterian. They just need to pick up three wounds against him. I am conscious that Aaron does have... Oh, no, he's got two command points left. So he could interrupt play. And it's difficult. Do we fight against Typhus here? Who could bring down the Dreadnought? Do we fight against Walterian? Difficult choices here for the Space Wolves. We'll go on to a combat resolution for them next year on turn three. Very difficult choice. If if we fight here first with the Wolfen, you know, yes, we should to bring Walterian down, but it means we'll probably lose Murderfang. Aaron will probably interrupt play and then take Murderfang down. Um, so 
I'm going to fight with Murder Fang first. It's a very difficult choice, this one. He gets an extra two attacks on the charge. So we're going to put six attacks into Typhus. Knowing Aaron's dice rolling, Typhus will su <laughs> probably survive. And then we'll put one attack to try and take out uh, the Plague Caster there as well. So twos to hit him. It does hit. Uh, twos to wound him. Wounds are re-rollable. That's okay. The wound comes through. Okay. So that is uh, Murder Fang there at minus three and three damage. So, six up. Six up. Oh, no, no. I've never seen a, 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 a string of, of dice rolling like this. Oh, Incredible. <laughs> so Aaron says the Imperial Fist dice. Oh, good. Okay. Um, six attacks now into Typhus. Twos for hits. They've all hit. Twos for wounds at strength 12 and re rollable. You can't ask for more. Six inbun saves of four plus. You cannot pass all six of these. Yeah, he's passed half of them. That's going to be nine damage coming through here. Is he going to let the... Oh, I could go for the command reroll and, and try and get a four plus save to let six damage come through. Or risk it with... The disgustingly resilient. Gonna He's going to risk it here. Five pluses. He's taken four wounds versus He's superb roll. Left. Two wounds remaining. Good call, that Aaron. That's a good play. Uh, Typhus remains alive and he'll happily strike back now uh, against Murderfang himself. So, are you going to interrupt play at this point? Uh, yeah, okay, the last two command points now being used, and it's to strike. Out against the charging Wolfen. Uh, so this is going to be 12. I'm using the ribbing scythe. Ah, oh, no. Okay. Eight, nine. Ah, the Wolfen are dead. Okay. At least we have the consolation of getting to fight before the models are removed. It may well be just enough here uh, to bring Mortarian down. So choose. Rerolling the misses. So All hit. Strength. Yep. Okay. Two's for wounds, and it's a plague weapon. Okay. They've all wounded. So that's 12 wounds. 12 in total, okay. Minus two. And the damage? Just one. One damage, okay, interesting. Uh, so I can go four batches of four here. I'm going to tank it on the inbun saves. So three plus of these. Okay. And I'll go for one at a time now. There's another eight to get through. Found. Okay, so one of those Wolfen with a three plus in one saves dead. I'll roll two more. They've almost slain the other one. One at a time. Three plus. No, found. So both those two are slain. And then now these uh, three saves remaining of sixes. And I'll put those on uh, the Wolfen with the Frost Claws, the squad leader. Um, so we'll go for. A uh, six plus, no, a six plus. He's dead as well. And then one wound taken on one of the great frost axes. Uh, yes, a wound taken. Okay. So uh, that's the slain models. We'll fight with those add now. Uh, Thunder hammers. Uh, plus one to the hit rolls. Minus one to the hit rolls. Minus one to the hit rolls again for my asthma of pestilence. So four pluses to try and uh, strike here. Oh boy, okay. Threes to wound. Two wounds do come through. Four plus invon saves required. If Aaron fails both of these, there'll be trouble. It's past one. Three damage. Disgustingly resilient. Must pass at least one to survive. Past one. Has passed one. Okay, so it'll take a little bit more to bring Mortarian down, uh, but he's down to one wound remaining. Then uh, the leader here with the Frost Claws. Five attacks in total. At threes to hit this time. Uh, I'm going to. Reroll that one because of Crom. Gets the hit. Five to wound. Rerollable. Three wounds. Minus uh, two here. Yes, minus two for Frost Claws. Two. About two. This could be it. Five pluses here for Disgustingly Resilient. Gone. Mortarian's been slain here by the Wolf, and they're a good countermeasure uh, to that character. So Aaron's going to roll up here. Four plus for a detonation. Yeah, here comes the detonation potentially. 
Oh. It doesn't, all right. So no command points left at all for both sides. But finally, Mortarian is slain. At least the Space Wolves have earned the Slay Mortarian badge here in this battle. Uh, so some pride for their chapter for sure. Not many armies have brought him down uh, in games. So at least a consolation prize for them uh, if they go on to lose the fight. But uh, happy enough with that result. Uh, Mortarian is no more. So, uh, consolidation move made. This unit's in deep trouble. There's no invon save anymore. Four plus save. And there's all these plague marines of blight launchers that will bring them down. So, there's, there's, there is trouble here for the space horse. But we'll fight on uh, here. These are the chainsaw attacks coming through against the poxwalkers. Needing twos. And they've all hit except one. So, what's your toughness now? Poxwalkers. Um, that unit is within seven to four. So, toughness four. That's fine. Okay. So, fours we're looking for instead of threes. So all those can be removed. Still pretty good. 5, 10, 12. Disgustingly resilient rolls to make. So Poxwalkers have been um, decimated here in this game. Uh, Space Wolves quite well equipped for taking hordes down. Just three saved. So nine. Nine removed from that squad. Then we'll fight with the Terminator. Seize so on two attacks. One for weapons and one for charging. That's all. Those two have fouled, but those two have hit, and then those have fouled. Rerollable. Uh, one more comes through. Five or six. Yeah. Passed. All right. It's just nine in total removed from that Poxwalker squad. Okay. So, yeah, and Aaron's pulled out models from combat, so that Poxwalker squad again is now disengaged from close combat. Uh, we'll fight now with the Thunderwolf Cavalry. We'll put all of the attacks into Typhus. Mm -hmm. The axe fighting here. Threes. <coughs> One wound comes through, uh, minus three, so four plus inbound save. Fouled, and it's just one damage, so it will be a... <laughs> well done. And then the wolf uh, itself can fight here, so we'll hit. One wound comes through, minus one this time, three plus save. Yep. Passed on another six being rolled. Okay, and that's all of the space wolves uh, and their combat's resolved, so now Aaron can strike back. Right, so here we go, Typhus, see if you can bring Murder Fang down. Twos, uh, doesn't get to re-roll that. Yep. And then strength seven. Threes, uh, force, force to wound actually. Force to wound. Yep. Uh, well then just the one wound. Okay. Yep. And minus three. Minus three, we'll take a six up save. No. Flat three damage. Straight three damage, okay. Uh, that knocks us down to five wounds remaining. And maybe we should have not attacked first <laughs> with Murder Fang. He could have survived uh, those attacks coming through, but difficult to call. Uh, we'll let Aaron uh, fight back. He's got a couple other characters that can fight, and that'll be the end uh, of the assault phase here on turn three for the Space Wolves. Yep, uh, no damage there against uh, the lone cavalryman left. Two wounds caused, but two three-plus saves passed. So that's the end of the turn here for the Space Wolves. Uh, we'll check morale. Should be okay. Uh, we'll, we'll see if there's any trouble here for the Wolfen. Yeah, so four required, and it's a four that we rolled, so no further casualties or no models fleeing there from the Wolfen unit. So turn is finished. We'll hand over the Death Guard here. I think if Aaron does well on this turn, sort of mops up the Space Wolves, uh, that we may well see the Death Guard uh, secure victory. But we'll see. We'll go on to uh, turn three now for the Death Guard Chaos Space Marines. Okay, uh, movement phase complete. Uh, happy to sit here with these. I, I think it's going to be the Death Guard Marine squads that are going to prove to be useful here. Uh, the firepower is pretty good from them. They've been pretty resolute here in this game as well. Holding ground with these, holding position with those, and these up here moving to the edge to get a better field of view uh, against the Wolfen. Uh, happy to remain in close combat. Uh, Plague Burst Crawler on the move. This one happy to sit where it is, and that's... Movement phase complete. We'll go on to psychic phase next. Yeah, and then just before we cover smite here, to, uh, to mention uh, points being picked up, Aaron uh, has this objective, so that one's secured. Across here, uh, Typhus uh, is on the objective, but so too is Murder Fang and the Thunderwolf Caverman, so actually cancelled out and blocked Aaron from picking up that point. So just the one point picked up here uh, for the Death Guard on this turn for objectives. Okay, psychic phase complete. Uh, Blades of Putrefaction and Putrescent Vitality both cast on Typhus. That's psychic phase complete. Uh, shooting phase next. 
Okay, uh, shooting phase complete. You can see uh, now this blood clause unit's been decimated here. That's firepower coming through uh, from here, and also uh, the plague burst crawlers firing through. Wolfen destroyed. Also, that's firepower coming from these two Death Guard uh, Chaos Space Marines units. But it looks like the Space Wolves attack has petered out now. And it's just a mopping up action and driving the last of them away. We'll go on to at. Uh, Charges, uh, yes, Lord of Contagion looks poised to charge here to try and finish uh, Murder Fang off. And we'll see if Aaron has any other charges as well. We've gone to uh, Charges and Overwatch next. All right, so Charges taking place. Aaron has charged down here with the Plague Marines. And then the Lord of Contagion has gone into the back of Murder Fang, who has it's five wounds he's got left, isn't it, at the moment? Four. Four wounds remaining, yeah, surely... He'll be destroyed here. Okay. But uh, a noble stand he makes towards the end of this fight. We'll go on to combat resolution next. Uh, so Lord of Contagion will fight first. He charged. So here come his attacks. Hit twos, yep. Yeah. Uh, strength seven, two, threes. Oh, wound. Oh, fours to wound. We're toughness uh, seven. Yeah, murder fang. Um, fours, sorry. Okay, yeah. So two at minus three. Okay. We'll take uh, six up saves. No. 3 damage. This could be enough. Yep. Got him. Five wounds. <laughs> Good play. We'll see if we detonate. We do. Goodbye. <laughs> so, oh boy. We'll, we'll check to see what kind of damage we might be able to take Typhus with us. Maybe. So yeah, units are in three. That's going to be my own Thunderwolf Cavalryman. Survives. He takes a mortal wound. Uh, Typhus. Come on, get a five or a six. Ah, two mortal wounds. He's gone. Oh, disgustingly resilient, otherwise he will be gone. That's right. Could we have a bit of a laugh here at the end? Yep. Double one, he's gone. Typhus removed. It's too little too late, but uh, another character slain here. Uh, the, uh, yeah, Sword of Contagion charging in. Three mortal wounds on him. Cool, what a way to go. Uh, disgustingly resilient, he'll get as well. Blocks one, okay, but two wounds taken. And then the Noxious... Malignant Playcaster, play cast, play yeah. Just the one, Mortal Wind. Okay. Uh, that'll kill him. That'll kill him unless uh, you're off. Resilient. Surely not another character. So <laughs> he's killed in the explosion as well. What a way to finish off the battle here. And then finally, Murder Fang can be removed from play as well. Okay. Not too bad. Both armies have been... Uh, you can see the, the dead piles here. It's uh, been horrific on, on both sides. Damage has been very, very heavy. So at least the Space Wolves have given a good account of themselves here in this fight. Uh, but their assault is now, I think, well and truly over. We'll let Aaron uh, make his attacks here with the charging Plague Marines. Yeah, uh, Aaron's just on his attacks there as well with the Noxious Blightbringer against the Lone Cavalryman and no damage. So Plague Marines fighting here. Okay, the Flood of Corruption, two attacks. Uh, both hit. Uh, strength is six. Three to wind. Two wounds, minus two. Five ups. No, we don't. Oh, he flails and takes down two of these. Okay. Ouch. Four. And the rest of the attacks coming through. That's six casualties. Morale is going to be a problem now. Uh, uh, one wound. One wound. Three up save. No, power armor fouls there as well, so that can be removed. Also, seven casualties, and then we'll fight back. We were charged, so one attack, weapon, and... Uh, no, no, it's Berserk Charge, we don't get that. Twos. That's a once, that's fouled. Uh, fives for a wound, because Aaron's... Yes, the wound comes through. Can we kill one more Plague Marine? No, no we cannot. The armour holds. Okay, good play. So, uh, Thunderwolf Cavalryman uh, will go into the Noxious Blightbringer. Two hits. One wound. It will not be enough to slay him. Minus three. And disgustingly resilient. Just the one damage. No. All right. So another wound caused. And that marks the end uh, of the turn here uh, for the Death Guard. Okay. Uh, morale's been resolved here. Uh, our morale did melt, even with a Nation and No Fear special rule. And the reroll we found there. Uh, the lone cavalryman fighting away, but uh, no doubt he'll beat a hasty retreat. And all we have left is this character holding on to this objective, uh, and then Crom making his way back to the other objective as well. So we'll end the turn here at turn three. Uh, th space halls have been decimated here, but we've got characters that could try and hold objectives. We could try and uh, ratchet up some victory points here, potentially. Uh, but really, the situation looks like the Space Wolves are set to lose this one here. Uh, we'll finish the turn off. We'll go on to turn four now. 
uh, for the Space Wolves. We'll get these objectives moved around the board and go on to the fourth turn now for the Space Wolves. Okay, so uh, movement very straightforward here for the Space Wolves. Uh, Aaron won the roll off here, he's moved the objective away from my Thunderwolf Cavalryman. Cross here won the roll off here, moved the objective back in uh, to the container there for his unit of Death Guard Marines to hold. Uh, we were on the roll off here and, and have put the objective just, it's under the base of that model. And then uh, Aaron uh, won the roll off here and moved it away from Crom and then. Uh, we have then since moved on top of the objective with Crom. We've done our movement phase here, sitting on top of this objective, and the caverman has elected to remain in close combat. Points picked up will be just this one here, which we held at the start of our turn. Crom was too far away uh, at the start of the turn to hold it, but we've since moved on top of that objective. We're going to shooting phase next, which will consist of a pistol here uh, against the noxious blightbringer. Yeah, shooting phase done. Roll to one. And that's the end of that. We'll go into combat, so there's no charges. So we'll fight against an Oxus Blightbringer, needing threes. No, not really good here. And then uh, fours to win. One win comes through, AP minus three. So a six up, and then a five up. To cause one more win. Nope, and then the dog, or the wolf, fighting. He's gone, right, okay. So that finishes off him. Still Space Wolves uh, picking up the wounds here. That's the end of the turn. There's nothing more we can do. Here, uh, there's one more thing actually. I've swung the cavalryman round. He's going to deny another point again uh, here uh, for that objective. So causing disruption. But uh, that's the end of the turn here for the Space Wolves. We're going to the fourth turn now uh, for the Death Guard. Really, if they slay this model here, it will then create access to these characters and that'll drive the Space Wolves away. We're going to turn four now for the Death Guard. Okay, movement complete. Units happy to sit where they are. This squad's advanced, uh, heading off towards this objective and the lone character. Then across here, uh, Pox Orcas have moved across to take on the Thunderwolf Cavalryman. Uh, and then Lord of Contagion happy to sit where he is, as well as the uh, Plague Burst Crawler as well. This squad's moved, uh, chasing after Crom. That's movement done. At uh, the start of the turn, by the way, Aaron picked up a point here again, uh, but was denied the point across the other side. So one more point being picked up by the Death Guard. So no psychic phase at all. Uh, we'll go straight on to shooting phase next here for the Death Guard on turn four. Okay, right. Uh, shooting phase resolved here. Aaron's fired everything virtually at the Fundal of Caravan. I pulled out one three plus in fun save after the next. Uh, good news down here, this character was slain. He could be seen and uh, was a closer model to these units here. Blight Launcher uh, picking off the last wound and Blight Launchers here as well. Even with advanced moves, you can still fire them and it's a D3 damage coming through. Did take out this model despite it having four wounds after the Lone Wolf stratagem being used. So that's kicked us off this objective. Uh, just trying to stretch this game here with the Space Wolves, but uh, I don't think it's doable now uh, with the loss of this character on this objective. Uh, we'll go on to charges and Overwatch next. So charges said uh, the Poxwalkers have gone in and Lord of Contagion will fight now. <coughs> on twos. Oh, good job he's hitting on twos. Those have all hit. Uh, four, so three rounds, minus three. And it's not a plague weapon. Uh, it is a plague weapon? Yes, that other one can be rolled. Four, four. Rounds, three. Now you're in, you've got in here, so what's the damage? It's two, I've failed. I believe it's D3. Two D3. Yeah. And he's already on a wound, so he's already dead. And it's three wounds, he's gone. Alright, so that's it. And I think... We can now concede. I don't think there's anything we can do. The maximum we can do is pick up one point per turn. Aaron's now in a position to move on to this one, to hold this one, and to hold the other one finally, which means he'll be generating a healthy amount of uh, points each turn. And so uh, the Space Horse can do nothing about that. And the game, I think, will end at that point. We'll end the turn here and we'll get a, a score for victory points. Okay, so what we've done is we've, we've been looking at points and projecting forwards of what would happen. So if you go on to turn five, uh, the Space Wolves will pick up, no matter where that objective moves, we'll just be in three inches, we'll get a point for that. Then over here, whichever way these objectives move, uh, Aaron's clusters around them, he's going to get the points as well. So on his turn five you get one and two. So what we're saying is it will be five points each, 
So then it will go down to uh, other points being picked up. We both got Slay the Warlord, so that's six points each, but Aaron did get first strike, so that would make it seven, six, and there's nothing the Space Horse can do about it. If it then goes on to turn six, again, we, we could possibly get a point if we survive all of the firepower that will come our way, uh, but then Aaron is going to start picking up two points, if not three points, at the start of his turn six and turn seven and so on. So we'll leave it there. The, po the points scoreline is very, very close indeed. At seven, six, the final score. Uh, but the Space Wolves have been virtually wiped out. And if we'd let the game continue, uh, they would no doubt be tabled and removed entirely from the board. But what a slaughter it's been. This Death Guard army has been hammered very hard. Uh, Mortarion has been taken down and a great number of characters uh, removed from play as well. But in this fight, uh, despite the, the desperate uh, scene that we've uh, witnessed before us, the Death Guard have emerged victorious. And another Space Marines chapter has been destroyed but well, not entirely. But uh, <laughs> this this force here, at least, that's been sent against them, uh, has been almost annihilated. So, uh, great game, very very enjoyable. Great combination between these two armies, and uh, we look forward to perhaps letting them fight each other again. Uh, but in this particular fight, the forces of chaos have. Uh, emerged victorious and great news for the Death Guard in their campaign here for Season 7. They're picking up uh, points here uh, from one game to the next. So maybe contenders here for uh, the crown this year for the channel. We'll have to see. But great game. Thanks to Aaron for taking part. Uh, keep a look out for more battle reports on both of the channels. Thanks for watching and tune in next time. Units of the game, uh, honourable mention for Typhus, good play from him over across the other side. you got to say though, Mortarion, the absolute king here in this game, uh, really caused absolute havoc amongst the Space Wolves and helped to uh, bring about victory here for the Death Guard. And then for the Space Wolves, number of units did okay. Uh, Bjorn uh, pretty good with his firepower at least and did the best that he could in close combat as much as could be expected but uh, it wasn't enough um, so I'm going to give it to the Thunderwolf Cavalry pretty good from there, very resolute took a long t time to destroy them finally and uh, they broke through on that flank and did cause trouble, quite impressive especially against the Poxwalkers and uh, proved difficult to try and destroy. So that's units of the game for both sides.